in this movie we will active our search button you can see this button right here so you will type something here in this field and then you will click on this go button so we have to get first this search button so we will say that if this button is clicked means if this button is set we have to go to this button i will show the basic demonstration at near the button and then we will put that code or demonstration in our actual PHP place so we will have an if condition in which we will have this function is set and we will say that if this button is set so we can check whether this button is set or not by super global of get and passing the name of this button that is search button so we will say that if this button is set then you should get this input field which has the name of search so i'm gonna cut this if condition from here I'm moving downward so right in this call sm8 right after the h1 tag where we have this php scope i will add that if condition here and after saying if that button is set we have to grab our input field so I will have another variable here with the name of search and that variable will get our input field so by using super global of get now I have to specify the name of my input field so you can see that this input field has the name of search so copy this one moving downward now putting that input field here then we will show the results according to this input field so when we are showing results according to the user search we don't have to show these default results which we are getting from our database out of this simple SQL of select static from post order by ID DESC for descending so we will show the results according to the input field so I will wrap up this SQL inside the else block and let's put this global connecting DB at the beginning of this PHP scope so basically I'm saying here if my input field is set then we will have this SQL that I'm going to write otherwise our SQL statement will be this one so let me add the comment here so writing SQL for this search button when this search button is active so our SQL will be select static all the columns from my table of posts where every single column of mine match with the input field data which the user is entering so I will say where my date time column in my table is like my search actually I'm using the named parameter here so this date and time column belong to my database this date and time column and I'm using the like operator to match the user entered data with my table so select all the post where you find the date and time column like the search tab or you find the category column like the search tab so we need another like here operator or the post means this column of post this search tab so I'm using the or operator which means if you find results according to whether it's a title or category or post show me results I'm not using the and operator because in and operator it will only return me results when all the conditions are true so I'm just saying here if any of the condition is true then show me the results so right after this SQL statement we will have our stmt variable 
that will use our database connection and prepare our SQL and we will pass our SQL inside as a parameter then on the next line we will bind our named parameter so bind value so in the first parameter writing this named parameter of search this named parameter same like this and in the second argument we have to pass this search variable this input field so passing it here now as we are using the like operator here of SQL so we need to pass the percentage sign so I will pass the percentage sign at the beginning of my variable and then at the ending of my variable so in the binding values I am saying here in my database look for this search input field and don't worry about the beginning data or the ending data so this percentage is representing the whole content of that column where our SQL is finding this result so right after that we will have our semicolon and then we will execute our query so whenever you are taking some values from a user must use PDO named parameter like I did here so that your query will be SQL injection free so you can see that if this search button is set we will have this SQL otherwise in the else block we will have this SQL and the rest of the content is same here so we have to do the little bit modification here because for this else block we have this stmt and that is using the query method so I'm gonna cut it from here and we'll put that query method here in the else block because here we have this stmt that is using the execute function and here we have this stmt that is using the query function and then this stmt will be used here as a fetch no matter which type of function we used to run our query like we did execute here and query here so if I save this one and if I refresh my page to bring the new PHP so if I search for something like insect click on this go button it's not working why it's not working let's see the structure of this button so moving up we have this button right here its type is button so if I remove its type default type and refresh my page now put some insect here go so we got this error exe cut so I have to write correct spelling So execute here, saving this one, refreshing my page, see now we have only got that post where it find the insect in a title, let's check if some date is like this, so I'm just gonna search 06-2019. For the date and time column go you can see we have this post where 06 2019 also here and also here so if I search for third you can see third post and I got only one search result so if I check the description because in all of our posts we have the default text of lorem ipsum so if i go on my blog.php page you can see all of the post has the same description so let me add a new post so going to my directory add new post 
testing new one my name is john nash publish post edit let's go to our blog page so testing new one is at the beginning so if i search for john click go you can see it fetched only that post where it find the john so it's checking in my title in my date and time in my text if it can find the searched data so let me summarize all of this i divided my blog page into two scenarios one is when my search button is active and i said when my search button is active the xtmt object will be this stmt execute and you will have this sql else you will have this sql and you will use the stmt on this query method and the while loop is the same i don't have to change anything here so i just divided whole in a different scenario later we will add more scenarios when we will search according to our categories or we will add the pagination so that's how we work with search button